जन बल्लभ गिरिवर धारी जय गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरिवर धारी जय जय यशोदानंदन ब्रजजन रंजन यशोदानंदन ब्रजजन रंजन यमुना तीरा वन चारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरिवर धारी जय जय यशोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुना तीर वन यमुना तीर वन चारी जय राध माधव कुंज बिहारी जय गोपी जन बल्लभ गिरिवर धारी जय यशोदानंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुना तीर वन चारी जय राध माधव कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधा श्रीवासदी गो भक्त वृंद जय हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हरे
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 जय गौरानीताई जय गौरानीताई गौरानीताई जय गौरानीताई जय कृष्ण बलराम कृष्ण बलराम कृष्ण बलराम जय कृष्ण बलराम जय राधा श्याम सुंदर राधा श्याम सुंदर राधे जय जय प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद जय जय प्रभु पाद ताई गोर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल ताई गोर हरि बोल जय मुष्ण पाद परमहंस परिवाचार्य अष्टोत्र सुष्मित जीवाइन रे सब है चरणार विंद भक्ति विदांत समिष्ट प्रभु पाद की जय ग्रंथराज श्रीमद् भागवतम की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय हरिनाम संकीर्तन की जय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायणम नमस्कृत्यम नरम चैव नरोतमम देविम सरस्वतीम व्यासम ततो जयम उदीरे नष्ट प्रायस्व भद्रेशु नित्यं भागवत सेवया भगवति उत्तमा श्लोके भक्तिर भवति नेष्टिकी रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद् भागवतम कैंटो टेन चैप्टर ट्वेंटी थ्री टेक्स्ट नंबर फिफ्टीन टू नाइनटीन विच इज डिस्प्लेड देयर Okay. Yeah. Multiple. Okay. So maybe we can chant the first verse. Ten, twenty-three, fifteen. Gatvath patni shalayam, drishtva sina svalankrita, natva dvija satir gopa. प्रश्रिता इदम् अभ्रुवन् गतवाथ पत्नी शालायां 
दृष्ट्वा शीना स्वलंकृता नज सतीर्गोपा प्रशीता इदमब्रुवन गथ पत्नीशाला दृष्ट् सीना स्वलंकृता नज सतीर्गोपा प्रश्रिता इदमब्रुवन गथ पत्नीशालायाशीन स्वलंकृता शालाया पत्नीशालायाशितादमुवन गोइंग अथ देन पत्नीशालायाम इन द हाउस ऑफ द वाइफ्स ऑफ द ब्राह्मणस दृष्ट्वा सींग दिम आसीना सिटिंग सुअलंकृता नाइसली ऑर्नमेंटेड नवा बोइंग डाउन टू ऑफर ओबेसेंसेस द्विज सती टू द चेस्ट वाइफ्स ऑफ द ब्राह्मणस गोपा द काउहट बॉयज प्रश्रिता हम्ली इदम दिस अभ्रुवन स्पोक ट्रांसलेशन द कावर्ड बॉयज देन वेन टू द हाउस वेर द ब्राह्मणस वाइफ्स वेस्टिंग देर द बॉयज सो सो दोज चेस लेडीज सिटिंग नाइसली डेकोरेटेड विथ फाइन ऑर्नमेंट्स बॉइंग डाउन टू द ब्राह्मणा लेडीज द बॉयज एड्रेस दैम इन ऑल ह्यूमिलिटी नमो व विप्र पत्नीभ्यो निबोधत वचाशिन इतो विदूरे चरता कृष्णे नेहेशिता वह द काउट बॉय सेट ओबेसेंस ऑन टू यू ओ वाइफ्स ऑफ द लर्नेड ब्राह्मणस काइंडली हियर आवर वर्ड्स वी हैव बीन सेंट हियर बाय लॉर्ड कृष्ण हु इज पासिंग बाय नॉट फार फ्रॉम हियर घास गोपाल सरामो दूरमागत भुभुक्षित तस्म सानु गस्य प्रदीयताम ही हेज कम अ लॉन्ग वे विद द कावट बॉयज एंड लॉर्ड बलराम टेंडिंग द काउस नाउ इज हंग्री सो सम फूड शुड बी गिवन फॉर हिम एंड हिज कंपेनियंस श्रुवा च्युतम उपाया नित्यम तदर्शनोत्सुखा तत्कथा कथा क्षिप्त मनसो बभुवूर्जात संभ्रमा द वाइफ्स ऑफ द ब्राह्मणस वेर ऑलवेज ईगर टू सी कृष्ण फॉर द माइंड्स हैड बीन एंचैंटेड बाय डिस्क्रिप्शंस ऑफ हिम दस एज सुन एज दे हर्ड दैट ही हैड कम दे बिकेम वेरी एक्साइटेड 
चतुर्विधम बहुगुण अन्न आदाय भाजने अभी सश्रु प्रिय सर्वा समुद्रम इव निमग्नगा टेकिंग अलॉन्ग इन लार्ज वेसल्स द फोर काइंड्स ऑफ फूड्स फुल ऑफ फाइन टेस्ट एंड एरोमस ऑल द लेडीज वेंट फोर्थ टू मीट द बिलविड जस्ट एज रिवर्स फ्लो टूवर्ड द सी परपट श्री विश्वनाथ चक्री ठाकुर एक्सप्लेन्स दैट द वाइफ्स ऑफ द ब्राह्मणस एक्सपीरियंस कॉन्जुकल फीलिंग्स टूवर्ड्स कृष्ण एज इफ ही वेर देर पैरमोर दस दे कुड नॉट बी चेक्ड एज ए रस्ट टू सी हिम ओम ज्ञान तिरंधस ज्ञानंजन शलाकया चक्षुर्मित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्यमनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददाती स्वदाक वंदेहम श्रीगुर श्रीयुत पदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सागर जात सहगन रघुनाथान्वित तम सजीव साइत सवधूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पादान सहगन ललिता श्री विशाखान्वितांश हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधो जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरिप्रिय वंशकुभ्य कृपा सिंधु वैवच पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्तिवेदातस्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी भाष्यत देश तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गाधार श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा सो थिंकिंग ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ सीनियर वैष्णवर्स थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर दिस भागवतम क्लास सो वेरी ब्यूटिफुल पास टाइम द ब्राह्मणर्स वाइफ्स ब्लेस्ड and we are reading uh, four verses today starting from 15 so um, the first verse here we read that how the cowherd boys went to the brahmana's wife so what happened before that first they went to the brahmana's and the brahmana's they didn't care they were absorbed they were busy in their ritual sacrifices Uh, they didn't know that the actual purpose of all sacrifices is to please vishnu and here krishna himself was asking them but still they were not interested to give i mean they were so you can say so foolish and then the cowherd boys came back to krishna and krishna said don't worry this is the nature of asking someone charity so shri prabhupada also writes in krishna book that when we ask for donation sometimes we will be refused so i did some service for fund collection for agurukul so i remember it's not that everybody you go they'll give funds so sometimes people they insult you and they say go away from here we don't want to give so krishna said that's the service you know when we go to preach to distribute books not everybody will take books or not everyone will take give donation but we have to do our service so krishna is teaching here don't worry go again now go to the wives of the brahmanas so like that you know book distribution that one person says no we don't stop we go to another person another person like that so krishna said don't worry go to the wives of the brahmanas now and then they went to the wives of brahmanas great devotees nag dvija patni right and as soon as um, the cowherd boys what they told um, so they went to the house of the um, the brahmanas where the uh, wives were there they were decorated they were chaste ladies it is said sati sati is the word used for chaste ladies so dvija sati hi 
the very chaste ladies they were sitting nicely decorated and the boys they bowed down before the ladies you see again another uh, lesson that uh, not that the boys covered boys are proud oh we have been sent by krishna no they bowed down with great humility so when you go for preaching also the like proper says dante trina what is that dante trina at mahaprabhu um pravadanand saraswati he writes that when we go for preaching we should carry straw in our mouth and beg that oh sadhava oh gentleman you are so first glorify you are so good you are so great and then say that please forget whatever you have learned and accept the lotus feet of lord chaitanya so similarly the cowherd boys they went and bowed down before the brahmana ladies and then addressed them with in all humility what they said obeisances on to you namo vo vipra patnibhyo it's a plural that my obeisances our obeisances to all of you wives of learned brahmanas kindly hear our words we have been sent here by krishna so that thing as messengers of krishna so when we are also preaching what should be a mood we are messengers of krishna of shla prabhupa just like postman just delivering a message that's all so the cowherd boys having the same mood they are saying we are just carrying a message from krishna to you what is our message the message is that krishna balaram uh, they have been herding the cows and now they are hungry so he krishna balram and their companions they are hungry so kindly give some food to them so very simple right they have been sent by krishna so just went paid obeisances and gave the message and now see the reaction what happened to the dujya patni so just see the contrast earlier we have heard that when they went and told the same thing to the brahmanas they didn't care they were busy in their own sacrifices but as soon as the dwija patnis the wives they heard what happened the wives of the brahmanas were always eager to see krishna for their minds had been enchanted by descriptions of him so this is a very interesting question that because i mean uh, some might be think that how they became devotees how the wives of brahmanas became devotees so here is answer because they had heard about him so later you will see in the purports Uh, it's mentioned that Shri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur says that because where this past time happened, you know, anyone knows where this past time happened? Very, very nearby, just four kilometers from Bhat Road. When Braj Mandal Parikrama on the first day they go to that place. Once I had gone, just uh, near Mayawati Hospital, very just four kilometers from here. Uh, there's a small hill. There's a beautiful temple of Krishna. So that's the place where this past time took place of. yagya patnis very close from vrindavan so you can say between vrindavan and mathura something like that so they in fact is considered the border between vrindavan and mathura because very next to that is akrur ghat so when akrur to krishna balram from vrindavan to mathura so that's the place where they took bath and uh, akrur saw krishna and balram as four handed form so he said that the vrindavan krishna he stayed back there only and vasudev krishna he went from there along with akrura so very nearby this place um, where this past time happened so from vrindavan many like you know fruit sellers or flower vendors or many people used to come and go so they used to narrate krishna's wonderful past times so just by hearing about krishna's past times the brahmanas wives they became so attracted to krishna that's the that's very important lesson from this past time that how hearing about krishna is so important because unless we associate with a devotee of krishna and hear about krishna we can't become a devotee then even if krishna comes before us we can't appreciate krishna see the opportunity was given to the brahmanas also that krishna is calling but they did because they didn't get the mercy of devotees they never heard about krishna but the wives of brahmanas they heard about krishna they were simple ladies they heard about krishna and they got attracted to krishna so they were already eager for darshan the moment they heard that oh krishna has come so close nearby he is calling us and it is mentioned that it was like ashoka forest where they went ashoka trees were there so immediately they became excited because they were already eager to have darshan of krishna tad darshana utsukah 
There's a word called utsuk in Hindi also. We say that means very eager. So we know that eagerness is a great. Um, I mean, a devotee should be eager to have darshan of Krishna. Tatra lolyam api eka mulyam. So the brahmanas' wives were very eager to have darshan of Krishna. The moment they heard that Krishna is coming, they became so excited. What they did? Immediately, they didn't take permission from their husband. Nothing. Immediately, they took all big vessels filled with four kinds of prasad, like we sing in Mangla Arti. Chatur Vidha Shri Bhagavat Prasado, Swadhana Triptan Hari Bhakta Sangan, Kriteva Tripting Bhajata Sadeva, Vande Guru Shri Charanara Vinda. So here also Chatur Vidham is mentioned. Chatur Vidham Bahu Gunam. So they took four kinds of prasad. What are the four kinds of prasad? That which is chewed, chavya, that we chew like rice, chapati, we chew. Then something that is swallowed, that we swallow like some juice or something, you know, we drink, soup, dal, whatever. Then something which is licked, you know, lick like, uh, what do we lick, achar, chutney. So we take in our finger and lick that. And the fourth is that which is sucked, like mango or something that we suck the juice. So, Chatur Vidha. So, four kinds of food stuff should be offered to the deities and that's what Srila Prabhupada taught that how to offer to Krishna and spiritual master becomes very happy to see when these four kinds of food stuffs are offered to Krishna and devotees, they take prasad. So, they took all four kinds of prasad. That's why in Rajbhog offering, we'll see this always some chutney, something to drink like that, you know. So, this is what Srila Prabhupada taught all of us, the Chatur Vidha, four kinds of foodstuffs. So Krishna should be offered this four kinds of foodstuffs and all full of fine taste and aromas. And immediately the ladies went for to meet their husband. And what is the analogy? Did they go very slowly? Okay, we'll go. Okay, let, let wait some time. Let me. No, no, no. What they did, the example is given. They immediately went as rivers flow towards the sea. This example has been given in Bhagavatam many, many times. Rivers flowing towards the sea. Can anyone recall in which prayer the same analogy is given? Yes, thank you, Mataji. Queen Kunti's prayer, yes. So Queen Kunti also prays uh, like that in her prayers. Tvaimya nanya vishaya matir madhu pate sakrit ratim udvatam madha gange vaugham udanvati Just like the rivers, they flow towards the sea with great speed. Especially if you go to Haridwar and in the Himalayas, you see the, the Ganga is so fast, flowing with a great speed. So, Queen Kunti prays that, let my mind also flow towards your lotus feet with such a speed, just like Ganga flows towards the ocean. So, similar example is given here, just like Rivers, they flow towards the sea. So many obstructions are on the way when Ganga is flowing, right? So many hills, cities. I heard that there were there are more than 100 dams on the way. But can anyone check the flow of Ganga? No. The Ganga still continues to flow. So this example has been Bhagavatam many times. Like Kunti Maharani prays. Also Kapil Dev gives the same example in third canto. That pure devotion service is Ahetu ki apratihata. Just like Ganga flowing towards the ocean. It cannot be stopped by any external circumstances. It's spontaneous. So this is same example that the Brahmana's wives, spontaneously they went to Krishna. Nothing could stop them. You see, 5000 years back, now it's not a big deal, you know. We can go out of house, women, they travel freely. But in those days, society was very, very conservative. For a woman to go outside home without husband was like unthinkable. It was like, you know, leaving the home forever because they would never accept a woman back to home if she left the home alone. That was the culture during those days. 5,000 years back, Vedic culture. In those days, leaving home without the permission of husband just to meet a boy in the jungle, in the forest, it's like unthinkable, the kind of sacrifice they did. Like, just like the gopis. 
So very similar. So this is 23rd chapter, and six chapters later, we'll hear the pastimes of the gopis, how they left everything to meet Krishna. So this is like you can say, it's leading up to the highest, the epitome of surrender to Krishna. The gopis surrender to Krishna. This is also quite close. Prabhupada writes in the Krishna book that the pastime of the Brahmana's wives, it's a practical proof of Sarva Dharman Parityaja Mamekam Sharanam Raja Aham Tvam Sarva Pape Bhyo Moksha Sami Masucha. So what Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita that one should give up everything. Sarva Dharman Parityaja Mam Ekam Sharanam Raja. So that same pastime has been so in Bhagavatam we see so many examples. That's why Srimad Bhagavatam is like an expansion of Bhagavad Gita. So whatever is mentioned in coded form in Bhagavad Gita, so all that we hear in elaboration in Srimad Bhagavatam. So who are the examples of devotees who left everything? Sarva Dharman Parityacha for the sake of taking shelter of Krishna. There are so many examples in Bhagavatam, but this pastime is one such example. The Brahmana's wives how they left their husbands to take shelter of Krishna. And later, of course, we'll read about the gopis. So, this is something very inspiring to see how they gave up everything for Krishna. Their home, their children, their husband. Because when they left, they knew that they'll never come back again. Of course, later we'll read that Krishna's mercy, Krishna said, go back, don't worry, they'll accept you back. Because Krishna is super soul in everyone's heart. So Krishna said, don't worry, you go back, I'm giving you guarantee the husbands will accept you back, don't worry. But when they left home, they knew for sure that we can never come back home. So it's not an easy decision to take. But they did that. That is what Prabhupada mentions that one should give up everything for Krishna. That's the meaning of surrender. And we see in the lives of great devotees and the wives of the Brahmanas, are a very uh, striking example of this uh, aspect of surrender to Krishna. Another interesting thing we learn here from this pastime is that how material qualification is not at all needed in bhakti. Rather, sometimes it can be an obstacle for bhakti. Just like Kun Kunti prays, uh, Janma Eshwarya Shruti Sribhi Edhamana Madhapuma. That this, to take birth in a very high family, in an aristocratic family, Brahmana family, to be very learned, to have a lot of wealth, to be very beautiful. In fact, these things can be obstacles in the path of bhakti. That is what we are seeing. The Brahmanas, they were so learned, took birth in high Brahmana families, in Mathura, Vrindavan. But what's the use? They were so proud of their learning and they, they didn't care, they, oh Krishna is an ordinary boy, oh, we are busy doing sacrifices. Why? Why they were doing sacrifices? To go to heavenly planets. So what's the use of all the learning, Vedas, nothing, it's all waste. So for bhakti, for devotion service, all these things are not necessary, rather they are considered to be obstacles. So. The Brahmanas, they didn't surrender to Krishna, they didn't care. Imagine they got such a great opportunity. If they had, if they could have gone to meet Krishna and given, we could have glorified the Brahmanas also. But they didn't do that. But their wives did it. So we, do, we shouldn't judge a devotee by external circumstances, that he's a man, woman, no. In Bhakti, we have examples of so many great women devotees. The gopis, the highest devotees, they are women. Queen Kunti, so many Draupadi, and here the wives of the Brahmanas, Nagapatnis we heard few chapters back, that Krishna was so pleased by the prayers of Nagapatnis that he forgave Kaliya. So, this is a very important, another important aspect from this chapter, that Bhakti is beyond all bodily designations, beyond gender, beyond birth, beyond external qualification. That's what Rupa Goswami says in Act of Instruction. We should never judge a devotee based on his external situation. Like sometimes we have the mentality, oh, he's from this country, that country, he's in Lecha. No, we should never ever uh, discriminate a Vaishnava based on that principle. A Vaishnava is beyond all bodily designations. 
This is a very strong message from Srimad Bhagavatam and Srila Prabhupada emphasized it so many times in his lectures that we should never discriminate. Because in those days, the Gaudiya they used to criticize all this, or many in India, they used to criticize that these Westerners, you know, how they are coming, how can they become Brahmanas, how can they worship the deities. No, Prabhupada was so strong. He said, no, the scriptures are very clear that Bhakti is beyond all bodily designations. So, um, so this is what we read till now, but of course in, in future, in the coming days, we'll read the remaining verses that how um, Uh, the br some of the husband brothers they did try to stop them but they didn't care they ran and in fact we'll also see that one um, yeah uh, and we'll read that how Krishna welcomed them another very interesting thing in this chapter is it describes the first darshan of Krishna that how when a devotee he takes his first direct darshan of course we're having darshan of the deities we are chanting the holy names, but when we get Saksha Darshan, when Krishna directly exhibits himself, gives his Darshan to a devotee, usually at the stage of Bhava Bhakti or Prema Bhakti. So what is the, uh, what is the reaction of the devotee? That also we see, because when the first time the wives of the Brahmanas, they took Darshan of Krishna, they were so, I mean, the symptoms of ecstasy, how it appeared in their bodies and Beautiful description, very beautiful verse. Uh, we'll read after a few verses. Shyamam Hiranya Paridhim Vanamalya Varha Dhatu Pravala Natavesha Nu Vritamshe Vinyasta Hastena Itarena Dhunanu Abjam Karnot Palal Aloka Kapola Mukhabja Hasam. I'll just read because very beautiful verse, 22nd verse. His complexion was dark blue and his garment golden. So first description of the first darshan that the, Nagap the wives of the Brahmanas, Dvijapatnis have a, had of Krishna. So his complexion was dark blue, his garments golden. Wearing a peacock feather, uh, they were wearing which kind of feather? Peacock feather. Colored minerals. Hmm? So you see sometimes our deities are decorated with colored dots, right? So this is what, colored minerals. Sprigs of flower buds. Many times you see Krishna decorated with um, small flowers, you know, fresh flowers. And a garland of forest flowers and leaves. He was dressed just like a dramatic dancer. He rested one hand on the shoulder of a friend, just like here we see. Uh, Balram is resting on Krishna, right? In our Krishna Balram. In the same pose, here Krishna was resting on some other coward boy. You know, sometimes you see young boys, when they stand, they usually rest their hand on some other boy. So Krishna is like the best, Naval Kishore, best teenager. So he was not standing like serious pose, no. In a very friendly way, putting his hand on another of his friend. Hmm? And so very, um, what you can say, very heroic way, you know, and taking a lotus and twirling it. Sometimes you see youth, young, like, you know, young people, they show some kind of... So Krishna was just like that. He was putting one shoulder on his friend, and the other hand he was twirling a flower, a lotus flower. Lilies graced his ears. His hair hung down over his cheeks. So the hairs came down on his cheeks, and his lotus-like face was smiling. So this is a very famous verse of Bhagavatam describing Krishna's exquisite beauty. And then um, Krishna welcomes the Brahmana wives. He said, welcome, uh, please come. Um, what can I do for you? And um, the wives of the Brahmana said that um, we have left everything now, please Accept us at your, as your maid servants. We don't want to go back again. But then Krishna, very important advice there. What Krishna says to them? Krishna says, no, no, you should go back. Don't worry. Your husbands, your brothers, everyone they will accept you. Don't worry. And then Krishna gives a very interesting instruction. He says, 
श्रवणा दर्शना ध्याना मई भावो अनुकीर्तना न तथा संकर्षेण प्रति प्रतियात तथो घृणा इसे इट इज बाय हियरिंग अबाउट मी सींग मी माई ड्यूटी फॉर्म मेडिटेटिंग अपॉन मी एंड चैंटिंग माई नेम्स एंड ग्लोरीज दैट लव फॉर मी डेवलप्स नॉट बाय फिजिकल प्रॉक्सिमिटी दे फोर प्लीज गो बैक टू योर होम्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इंस्ट्रक्शन He says, "Don't think that just by being close to me, you will develop your love to me." No. We have seen that so many hmm, physical proximity is not important. Duryodhan, he was so close to Krishna many times, but did he develop love for Krishna? No. So many demons they had darshan of Krishna, but did they love develop love for him? No. So very interesting instruction. so how do we develop love for krishna shravanat by hearing about krishna very important instruction krishna is saying go back to your homes and continuously hear about me meditate upon me so shravan kirtan so important krishna himself is saying that don't worry you had my darshan now go back meditate on my form what you saw now hear about me chant about me and in this way you will develop your love for me so very important instruction for all of us so in this way um, this chapter is very interesting chapter of bhagavatam every chapter is interesting every pastime is interesting but somehow this is a very beautiful pastime um, the wives of the brahmanas how they were delivered by krishna we just celebrated janmashtami shla prabhu's appearance day and shla prabhupad reminds us again and again that why krishna incarnates why he comes here just to give us his wonderful past times so that we can hear about those past times because only by hearing about krishna's past times we can develop our love for him there is no other way krishna is directly telling to the wives of brahmanas that don't think that that just by staying with me you will develop your love for me no by hearing about me so hearing about krishna's past times is so important that's the reason why krishna mercifully comes to this earthly planet so that he can do this wonderful past times and leave this past times for us in bhagavatam so that we can hear about them and by hearing these past times what will happen we'll develop love for krishna we'll develop a desire to join krishna's past times that's the purpose krishna comes janma karma ch me divyam एवं योवेति तत्वत त्यक्वा देहम पुनर्जन्म नैति माम इति सौर्जन कृष्णा टेल सो मेनी श्ल प्रभुपात कोटेड सो मेनी टाइम दिस वर्ड्स दैट वी हैव टू रीड कृष्णा स्पास टाइम्स एंड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ कृष्णा स्पास टाइम्स इज अपियरेंस इज डिवाइन एंड देन कृष्णा इज गिविंग गारंटी दैट वन इफ यू लीव अ बॉडी विल नॉट कम बैक हियर सो दिस वंडरफुल पास टाइम्स अ देन श्रीमद भागवतम एंड वी शुड टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ देम read the wonderful past times and especially krishna book shla prabhupad uh, in 71 1970 or 71 he wrote krishna book right 71 why because shla prabhupad knew that i mean he was in doubt whether he would be able to complete the entire shrimad bhagavatam so he thought let me present krishna's past times in krishna book so that the world can get bona fide book about krishna's past because there is so much confusion there is so much people they misinterpret krishna's past times so shri prabhupada has given us a bona fide presentation of all krishna's past times in the krishna book and of course we have the 10th canto of bhagavatam also disciples they completed so please let's take advantage and hear the wonderful past times of krishna krishna himself is saying to the dwija patnis that please go back you can develop your love for me by shravanat by hearing about me not by simply staying with me and the wise of brahmanas they did they listen to krishna's instruction yes they did and of course they were feeling separation but they went back to their homes and what happened when they went back to their homes the brahmanas they realized oh what great mistake we did we got a chance to go and give krishna bhoga we didn't accept but our wives went how fortunate they are and when the wives came back they saw the wonderful symptoms of krishna prem in their bodies and the brahmanas they they glorified that 
wives are so great devotees they condemn themselves that dhik you know the word they said damn you know to hell is our learning our um, vedic knowledge our yagyas so you know uh, very beautiful words they say i'll just read yeah dhik janma they say dhik janma uh, dhik vratam dhik bahu gyatam dhik kulam to hell with our three fold birth our vow of celibacy our extensive learning to hell with our aristocratic background and our expertise in the rituals of sacrifice these are all condemned because we are inimical to the transcendental personality of god it so they realized that what is the use of all our learning to hell with all that so they said just see the unlimited love these women have developed for krishna so they accepted their wives at their special masters said so they are better than us Mm-hmm. these women they never went to gurukul they never practiced uh, brahmacharya they never studied all the vedas but still they have so much devotion for krishna so in this way they glorified their wives and uh, they also got some devotion by the mercy of their wives the second past time like kaliya also because of his wives he got mercy krishna left second past time here also by the mercy of the wives of the brahmanas uh, they also developed some devotional service to krishna so so these are some of the wonderful lessons and uh, beautiful learnings we get from this past time uh, i just thought we can sing a bhajan uh, jay radhe jay krishna where the nagapatis are glorified shall we sing okay yes 1970 yeah what should we sing so let's sing that beautiful bhajan jay radhe jay krishna where the devotion of the nagapatnis and the dvijapatnis the wives of the brahmanas is glorified jay dvijapatni jay nagakanyagan okay so let us chant that uh, beautiful bhajan jay radhe jay krishna jay vrindavana Shri Govinda Gopinatha Madana Mohana श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी गोवर्धन कालिंदी जमुना जय जय महावन केशी घाट वंशी वट द्वादश कनन जहा सब लीला कोईलो श्री नंद नंद न नंद चशोदा जय जय गोपगन श्रीदादि जय जय धेनुवत्सग जय 
जय गोपगा जय जय वृष भनु जय कीर्तिदा सुंदरी जय पौर्णमासी जय आभीर नगरी जय जय गोपेश्वर वृंदावन माझ जय जय कृष्ण सखा बटु द्विज राज जय राम घाट जय रोहिणी नंदन जय जय वृंदावन बासी जत जन घाट जय रोहिणी नंद जय द्विज पत्नी जय नागकन्यागण भक्ति ते जहार पैलो गोविंद चरण सेकेंड जय द्विज पत्नी जय नागकन्या गक्ति ते जहार पैलो गोविंद चरण सीरास मंडल जय जय राधा श्याम जय जय रास लीला सर्व मनोराम मंडल जय जय राधा श्याम जय जय जल रस सर्वरस सार पर किया भाभी जा व्रजति प्रचार रस सर्वरस सार श्री ज 
जानवा पद पद्म करिया स्मरण तीन कृष्णदास कहे नाम संकीर्तन करिया स्मरण जय राधे जय कृष्ण जय वृंदवन श्री गोविंद गोपीनाथ मदन मोहन जय राधे जय कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे जय प्रभु पद जय प्रभु पद प्रभु पद जय प्रभु पद जय सीता गोर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल सीता गोर हरि बोल भागवतम की एनी क्वेश्चंस और कमेंट्स How to get faith uh, in one of the purposes of uh, Bhagavad Gita, Shri Prabhupada says that we get faith by association with devotees. So when you associate with those devotees who have so much faith on Krishna, so we also, it's contagious, we also start getting that faith. When we hear from devotees, we have faith, so gradually the faith develops. It's just like Shri Prabhupada, I mean he had so much faith, it's as if that he has seen Krishna, the way he used to describe the pastime, the way he has written. So, when we hear from such devotees, so gradually our faith also develops that, that yes, this, uh, these people have seen Krishna, so it's not imagination, it's not some phantasmagoria, but they have realized they have seen Krishna, so we also develop faith, that's my understanding. Anything you want to add? <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Mataji.
Yeah, very nice question that um, Arjuna also, he surrendered, but then Krishna said, you don't give up the fight, but here Nagapati, uh, Dujapati is left. That's why surrender is through the spiritual master. So when we accept the instruction of spiritual master, that is surrender. So depending on our situation, so sometimes the spiritual master may say that, okay, join full time as a brahmachari. So we, we, we can accept that and give up everything. But sometimes he may say as a grihastha, no, do your duties. Especially Mataji's, we have our, they should do their household duties. Therefore, we should uh, surrender through bona fide spiritual master. So, he'll guide us how to surrender. But the attitude of surrender is important. That, that just like Bhakti Thakur says, that even though he's a grihastha, manasa deha gaya, jo kishu mura, arpilu tuva pade nanda kishu. Whatever I have, my family, my home, everything is yours. That attitude of surrender is more important. That you may have everything, but then your mood is that everything belongs to Krishna. Like Ambarish Maharaj, such a great king. But still he was very surrendered because his mood was that everything belongs to Krishna. So that mood of surrender is very important. And practically how to do it? That we should take guidance from spiritual master. Okay, one last question. Yeah. yeah. Where do we get Shraddha? Yeah. Yeah. By association with devotees. So it is mentioned Yes, thank you. Very nice. <laughs> yes, thank you. Very nice point. That faith also we get by mercy of Vaishnavas. That beautiful song of Vaishnava Thakura, Dayara Sagara, Edashe Karuna, Diya Padashaya, Deva Shraddha Bindu, give me a drop of faith. So we, therefore we should pray to Srila Prabhupada, the devotees, that by their mercy only we can get faith on Krishna, faith on Holy Name. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what we can do to hear more? Is that the question? Yeah, hear nicely. How can you hear Krishna? appreciate Yeah. So, Prabhupada has given a system. We should all hear Srimad Bhagavatam class. So, our temple president himself, Prabhuji, is setting examples. So many senior devotees are here. So, that's a very nice example. Prabhupada himself, I think he writes um, in one of the. I heard that in Vrindavan, he himself used to come and hear classes by his disciples. So he himself said that great example. We should definitely hear Bhagavatam class uh, in the temple and uh, evening also we have Bhagavad class, that's there. But other than that, that, also in small groups, I know many devotees, they read Bhagavatam together in small groups or they read Krishna book together. So that is also one way we can do. And uh, of course, we have so many recorded lectures. So anytime we are free, we can hear Srila Prabhupada lectures or so many Sanyas is in his con. So in this way we can... Yes, yes. Yeah, that's a nice point Prabhuji is mentioning that when uh, Srila Prabhupada was getting initiated by Srila Bhaktasan Saswati Thakur, so in Prayag, so he, meant, he told that, oh, he, he, I saw him, he likes to hear very much. Because when in Kosi, when they came for Brajmandal Parikama, so there's an announcement that devotees can go for darshan of Seshri Sai Vishnu 
or they can stay back to hear class from Srila Bhaktasvam Thakur. And very few devotees stayed back, maximum they went for darshan. So Srila Prabhupada stayed back and even though he said that uh, Srila Bhaktasvam Thakur lecture was so philosophical and difficult, but even if he didn't understand, he just stayed there and heard. And so his spiritual master recognized that and he told that yes, I have seen him, he likes to hear. So that is a very important qualification that we must like to hear from our special master, like to hear from senior Vaishnavas. Okay, so thank you all very much. Grantha Shrimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Shla Prabhupada ki jai.